This is the language of forecasting, updated every few hours. An approaching front will spread clouds across western Washington late today. This is what a forecast from the Seattle office of the National Weather Service sounds like on a relatively nice day. But we are heading into winter, and the words of weather are changing. In the end, um, you can have a perfect forecast, but if you, you can't communicate that effectively, it's, it's not a great forecast. Instead of saying there's an advisory for freezing rain with a different advisory for snow, the new advisory will consolidate all that into a single winter weather advisory, then followed by those specifics. And that was the problem last October 15th. A dying typhoon was heading east across the Pacific and had promised a windstorm to be every bit as bad as the 1962 Columbus Day blast, which blew down entire forests. Instead, it missed us and chugged up the coast, sparing Puget Sound. And we feel that's where we really fell down last year, was being able to communicate the uncertainty. King 5 and senior meteorologist Rich Marriott, the Weather Service, emergency managers, even psychologists are working on a committee to find a way to better tell the public just how sure or not sure we are where a storm will hit. An example of that is a cone of uncertainty we're now all used to looking at as another hurricane barrels across the Gulf of Mexico. The red line is going up the middle, but the storm could go left or right of that line, giving the public a better idea of whether they're at risk or not. In general, something even simpler. I mean, how do you convey our confidence in the forecast in a way that um, is, again, uh, easily understood um, and clear? Now this committee is called the Integrated Weather Team and is still working on just what that solution is. So again, part of this is in place, focusing on the weather. There's gonna be more on flooding this spring. This is a nationwide standard. What we're talking about in terms of this windstorm situation is more regional.